Hey, mail call. All right. Your turn. This is already opened. All right. Oh, there's some more of these over there um, that to, to the right of the mystery hands that John could throw in. So, um, so looking, because we don't have good hearing, yep. these are for helping us hear better. These are, yeah, these are so, since we've gotten deaf from using tools, we can use these to crank up our music. Nope, uh, upcoming tools and materials, high-tech hearing protection. So, um, this is a company called ProHear. It's been around for a long time. This is 3M. Um, we've got some product Isotunes. from Isotunes and from DeWalt. Um, but the idea, you know, a lot of people, I mean, we all have noise canceling headphones at our desks so that we don't have to hear each other. Yep. And when we're in the shop, noise canceling headphones aren't necessarily enough because, see, blah, 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 blah. You can't even hear me. No, the, the good thing is noise canceling headphones don't block sound. So these are earmuffs. So they're OSHA rated for like a, usually like a 25 to 28 decibel reduction, even if you got nothing going on. So, so they're, they, they're not noise canceling. They're just straight up headphones. They, well, with, but they're, with music. But they're, yeah, but they're earmuffs. Bluetooth. They're just like, they're just like the shop earmuffs that you'd wear that okay. reduce the sound by X number of decibels. But these have Bluetooth so you can listen to music. And I use these a lot in my shop at home. And the nice thing is that you can have um, music on and have it quiet and still hear it, even with tools and the dust collector and stuff running. You don't have to crank it up. These are cool, these isotunes. This is, uh, let's see, is this part of their link ones or are those the other? Um, this, again, isotunes has been around for a long time. You know, some people like earbuds, some people like ear muffs. These are buds. Um, it's actually the other ones that are probably up at my desk or maybe off in on my secret testing area in my shop. At they're, home. Are, they're already at um, home, getting ready to no, go, go but, on eBay. Uh, but the one thing that they have is this, it's called, they're called their aware ones. So they let all sound through up to 85 decibels. And then in like, I don't know, three hundredths of a second or something, if the sound goes above 80 decibels or 85 decibels, then they kick on and block the noise. Cool. So that lets you, you know, be able to hear and talk and do the things that you need to, but then go off. And I, they come out of uh, some of these companies, Isotunes being one, also make their tactical lines for shooting. Yeah. And that's where that technology comes from because yeah. it has to be able to I don't, react I don't fast. Have, I don't have those, but I do have the earbuds that I use at home. I, I really do like them. Yeah. Uh, they, yeah. They, are, they do fill your ear like a real earplug. So it's, right. it's not like a loose fitting uh, I, I, or bud, earbud for, for right. your iPhone or whatever. Yeah, because they're, they're safety plugs or safety mugs first designed to reduce the you know, decibels going into your ear and their Bluetooth second. Yeah, this is another thing I like about Isotunes too, is that they send you these, all these different sizes of, of foam buds or mm -hmm. whatever they are to fit your yeah. ear. Not, exactly. Yeah. It's a box. It's a box from? From Rockler. Rockler. Um, these guys are cranking out the new products and doing some Pretty cool things. So let's. I think well, it's on the underside. First, first, first off, what do we have? We have a tabletop slab flattening Can you go jig. Go on the side here. Yep. Um, wow. So you know everybody's seen like the big slab flattening. I mean, because you know when you're doing your your waterfall tables and your no your uh, well, but anything with slabs. But so he, this one they have a full sized slab flattening jig, but this is a smaller one. Um, you know, the thing that immediately comes to mind for me is cutting boards. Yeah. Um, or any time that you're doing a, ready? If you get that, I'll get this. Yeah, I think uh, and then that's a good idea, Dave, because then you're not trying to set up a monster uh, deal. I think it's going it. to slide out of this. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, there. No, that, I broke that one, I think, so that made it come out. Fully, All right, fully we're getting assembled. There. Getting close. 
That's uh, that's your stop. Yeah. <laughs> that in there. We you? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so looks like we've got a rail, a rail, and a sled. Is our workbench wide enough? Yeah. Yeah, actually these could be turned inside too. Um, yep, so there you go. Um, here is some, um, looks like we've maybe got some some slick tape. Yep. And all the hardware Ready to, to go put it to together. Yep. No, I don't be reading that. Instructions. So like you said, I think this is a really good setup for uh, smaller, smaller slabs. Although, yeah. I mean. It's a pretty good size slab this, actually. 20, 20 inches across here? Uh, I think it's got inches? close to a 24 inch capacity, maybe. Let's see what the structure tell us. It's still a pretty good us. size. Nice thing too is that, um, you know, when I looked, it's uh, pre-drilled, pre-drilled, pre yeah, and it's so it's got all the all the common hole patterns for different router sub bases, and so you don't have to worry. I mean, not that centering is probably going to be a big issue. Um, you're, I like the way you're just sliding that. Yeah, rail well, I mean, you're obviously going to yeah. have to mount this to yeah, a piece of plywood gonna, or, or screw yeah. it to your bench or whatever. I, this is pretty slick. These actually have little locks on it, mm -hmm. so you can't accidentally lift your router off mm -hmm. uh, or your router knocking a rock off. Uh, some UHMW plates in there for some yep. slickness. And then, yeah, it looks like the same for on the rails, whether I guess that would be for the main rails. Probably, I think that's what this is. The fun of unboxing. We don't know. We don't know. We didn't read the instructions. Um, no, obviously that's not for the rails. So we'll figure that out. So I'm assuming there's some adjustability with this stuff too, as far as uh, tightening it, loosening your. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, I see in the instructions here it has a whole like troubleshooting section for if you're getting you know sawtooth cuts, if your if your blades not or your bits not perfectly perpendicular. Sure. To the slab. So yeah, you can uh, you can release the releasing the. The router carriage and trolley from the rails, that's just that. It shows the locks, has all of that jazz. And yes, I think it had some, there was some stuff in here. Well, these be a different page. Yeah. Oh, there we go. About troubleshooting uneven cuts and the adjustments that you can make. Yeah, so you can, you've got front to back adjustment, side to side adjustment built into these pads mm -hmm. so that you can get your router perfectly perpendicular to the slab. Um, and again, man, I'd have to look this one up. I bet I have a computer. You talk and say interesting things. Uh, I was just going to tell them about the price. I, didn't you that's say, what I'm, that's you, what I'm looking at. I thought up. you said it was nineteen ninety five. No, no, I don't think so. But it's, but it's not expensive. Um, yeah, that's going to take a while. Never mind. But yeah, we'll, we'll post that stuff. And yeah, we'll add that to the comment section. Yep. Um, um, but very nice little setup. Uh, I would, I guess, when we uh, oh, saw this wow. box, I was going, oh, there's going to be a lot of assembly. Yeah, no, there's screw no the thing down. no real assembly at all, which no. I think is even uh, more of a benefit. So, and it comes with um, pretty much every bolt configuration uh, that you'd for, need for different routers. routers. Plus, it has the uh, screws to screw the rails down. Um, so pretty much it's all there. Well, and the nice except thing with the router. Well, and the nice thing with this too is, you know, I, I think immediately that you could mount this thing to a three quarter inch piece of plywood, even put some cleats under it if you need to be able to hang it up on the wall when you're not using it and then just get it out, throw a clamp on your bench and you're off and running. Look, but yeah. one handed. I know. Well, see, and we haven't actually, you know, once it's on, we haven't adjusted anything, but I mean, clearly I'm not holding that one, but we haven't, you know, made them parallel. We haven't done all those things that we're supposed to do, but that's going to actually slide. Well, if you, especially if you don't screw that really one. Really nice. Out. Yeah. Well, then you got unlimited length on <laughs> one side. Yeah. You just go yeah. till the end of that one, then you push screw this one down. forward and yeah. you just keep going. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that was great.